Circle of Fifth has everything you need to know about warming up your instrument to develop a good practice routine. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use this system to brush up your skills. Hi friends, I'm Scarlett and welcome back to my channel. And I'm finally back in Malaysia to see my friends and families. And this week also is the uh, Fear Wing Youth Band Camp. So I get the chance to work with uh, some of the saxophonists in the camp. So if I have a chance, I'll share some of the snippets with you in the next videos. So today's video, I'm going to focus on Circle of Fifth. It's how I use the system to practice because uh, when I travel, I might not be able to work on the repertoire if I don't have to. That means I don't have concert or recital. So I'll just take this opportunity to work on my um, basic and my memorization skill. So if you are still looking at music to play like C major skill, F sharp major skills, now let's just take the chance to um, make sure that everything is in your head. So no more music in front of you. We need to get all the notes, all the sound right in our head and in our muscle. Alright, so if you are ready, let's practice with me and let's get started. Hello, hello. So now I'm tuning on the note C. So if you have not tuned, you can tune with me because later on I'm gonna just go chromatic skills downward starting from C just to check on my sound. I've been playing on tenor for a long time because I put it at home so I definitely need more time to get used to the sound of the tenor but when I play long tone I don't really like look into the tuner at all time instead I focused on the sound and get myself comfortable with the instrument again using my tongue because I want to know how much air I need and how much pressure I need for this particular note because all the notes they are different so we need to be really aware that how much air and support we need working? Is there any leaking? So I definitely need to relax more on my embouchure and my oral cavity. As you can hear this overtone and octifier. So I'll keep on moving the in my piece for now just to see um, I mean just to find the comfortable um, tuning for myself. And now I'm on D. C 
sharp and D. I'll alternate these two notes because the um, one is an open fingering C sharp and D is the long tip. So you can tell the color here is actually very different. So my aim here is to make the sound more or less um, even, even tone. And sometimes if your instrument um, don't speak well, make sure you moisturize your reed like this and it would help to speak a art and articulate easier. I don't know if you can tell but I definitely feel more um, fuller the tone and cleaner. the semitoned you can just follow me to work on the intonation I'm on full four two and I'm kind of sharp but for now it's okay because I'm just getting used um, to my instrument so I just want to know how far I need to drop my jaw I'll play the higher notes. As you can see, if I don't drop it, it's so sharp. But I'll try my best to keep the tone even. If it's shaky, that means you need to push more air. At this point, it's actually quite tiring already, but let's go on. Listen to your sound. tenor I got it when I was 13 when I was in high school and it's my very first um, instrument so ever since then I'm in love with the saxophone <laughs> all right so and the second exercise I'll be playing with the drone as you can see on the circle fifth chart I'll start with the C and then first I'll find the first note. 
to tune with the drone, and then I'll play scale. I'll only play five notes. C, D, E, F, G. But if you want, you can go down. C, B, A, G, F. In today's exercise, let's go up the scale. And you alternate. One, two, one, two, three, four, three, four, five, four, five, four, three, two, three, two, one. And just do the same for the rest of the scale. And the next one is fifth lower. So now I'm working on the different key, which is the F. This exercise is really good because you have to know that not all the notes has to be in tune, exactly in tune on, on the tuner. Because you are moving in the musical context, the relationship um, the, of the pitch in different key is different. So you need to tune your ear to get used to different key on different notes in different relationship, intervallic relationship. So if you're familiar, you can go faster. This way, also alternate your fingerings. You can work on your agility of um, moving around um, the key. Now it's B flat. If you can see, actually the D. for that note. I'm still testing out, warming up. So the first note, the root, has to be in Thank you. 
it's very t- tricky on all the saxophones, all the families. So in this exercise, you can just uh, explore around and see which one works best for you and which one um, doesn't. Instead of going jumping from C to D to C sharp, I encourage you to stick on one system. So every time you jump back in, you know where to start and where you are. So if you have uh, anything you would like to share with me, this point you can leave a comment and tell me what concept you have on practicing or warming up your instrument. exercise I'm gonna do two five one if you are a jazz player you must be like really familiar with this so you starting with chromatic scale to find a long note and now you work on five notes Seven chord. This exercise I'm starting all from 
from the root. to hear the color of the chord before you play. That's how I practice. It's not just looking at the notes and playing the right notes, but instead the second stage, the next stage should be hearing the color of the key. The quality of the chord So make sure that you also work on your instrument while you are traveling around because improvement only comes with routine, consistency, and frequency. Okay, so if you like this kind of video, make sure you give me a support uh, by hitting the uh, subscribe button or like button or just leave a comment down below. And after this session, I have some snippets to show you. Is there some traveling moments that I have taken during the trip? You can watch this video while cleaning up your instrument or you can stop and continue to practice. So I wish you a Merry Christmas, happy practicing and I'll see you again next time. Bye! <笑>怎麼樣呢前面蓋那裡噓出演這樣子哇那冷氣爆了應該沒有什麼問題了爸你從哪裡來啊啊快點<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑>